Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Thank you for joining us for today's ISS update this Monday, February 6. You're now looking at a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 30 crew members. Leading the team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Emily Nelson, seen here on the right-hand side of your screen in the striped sweater, with uh, Robert Hanley there next to her, serving as CAPCOM, who is relaying all ground messages up to the crew. The uh, six crew members currently aboard the station include NASA astronaut and commander of the complex, Dan Burbank, and his crewmates and flight engineers, cosmonauts, Anton Shkoplov and Anatoly Ivanishin, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuypers. Commander Burbank, Shkoplov, and Ivanishin had launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 29 crew last November. They had docked to the uh, Poisk module of the space station a few days after their launch on November 16. Burbank then assumed command of the station only one week after the trio had arrived. Today, he and his crew members complete their 86th consecutive day and begin their 13th week in space. Meanwhile, Pettit, Kononenko, and Kuypers had launched aboard their Soyuz TMA-03M from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on December 21st, when they began their two-day chase on orbit to catch up to the International Space Station. With their Soyuz docked to the Rosviet module, they will complete their 48th consecutive day and begin their seventh week in space today. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is now flying at an altitude of about 250 statute miles. The orbiting facility is making a uh, southeastern track across the South Pacific Ocean off the southwest coast of Brazil, where it will eventually cross the south tip of Brazil and begin making a northeastern track across the uh, South Atlantic Ocean and eventually across Africa. After an off-duty weekend, the Expedition 30 crew members began their morning with the first of two daily planning conferences a couple hours after their wake-up at midnight. Planning conferences are held with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. The uh, Expedition 30 crew continues to tend to a variety of science experiments that take advantage of their microgravity environment, perform regular maintenance to their orbital home, and prepare for an upcoming spacewalk outside the complex. During today's ISS update hour, Commander Dan Burbank is performing some maintenance work to the onboard water recovery system. Specifically, he is removing a filter tank assembly for the adva advanced recycle system so it can be restored to its regular configuration to work with the urine processing assembly. Flight engineers and Russian cosmonauts Konyanenko and Shkaplarov are reviewing spacewalk timeline procedures just uh, 10 days out from a planned six-hour excursion outside the complex to relocate one of two Strela cargo cranes from the Pierce docking compartment to the Poisk module and also to install five debris shields on the hull of the Zvezda service module. Meanwhile, flight engineer Pettit has been working to uh, reset a video overlay display for the SPICE, or smoke point in co-flow experiment that studies a soot emitting flame, which is important in understanding the ability of fires to spread. During the hour, he will conduct an inspection and cleaning of the filter heat sink and the soot screen cover for the slice or structure and liftoff in combustion experiment. SLICE is part of the smoke point in co-flow experiment that could lead to improvements in technologies which aim to reduce pollution emissions and improve burning efficiency. Meanwhile, Andre Kuypers will spend today's update hours setting up portable pulmonary function system in advance of the VO2 max testing, which observes the uh, aerobic capacity of an individual on a long-duration space mission. And earlier this morning aboard the International Space Station, Commander Burbank spent most of his time on the water recovery system maintenance to replace the uh, advanced recycle filter. 
Flight Engineer Andre Kuypers worked on updating operations data file procedures, while at Flight Engineer Don Pettit spent much of his morning setting up and working with the video overlay of that SPICE experiment that provides insight on heat release and spread rates of fires. Later today, after the update hour, Commander Burbank will participate in a regular private psychological conference. He'll uh, perform his second hour of daily exercises using the onboard stationary bicycle and will update his dietary log for an ongoing study known as SOLO, or sodium loading in microgravity, that investigates the mechanisms of fluid and salt retention in the body during spaceflight. Also, Flight Engineer Kuypers will continue maintenance on the pre-treat tank in the waste hygiene compartment, and Pettit will perform his second hour of daily exercise using the advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The uh, Expedition 30 crew will then participate in a second daily planning conference with ground controllers around the world before entering its pre-sleep period. The Expedition 30 crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.